lawful argument against jurisdiction and sovereignty won. Elizabeth Alexandra Mary Battenberg's fraudulent coronation. The person who purports to be the Queen has never, in fact, rightfully or lawfully been crowned as the sovereign. This knowledge stems from the fact that the coronation stone, the stone of destiny Bethel Jacob's pillar that Elizabeth Alexandra Mary Battenberg was crowned upon is a fake. The real coronation stone, made from Bethel porphyry, weighing more than 400 weight, 458 pounds according to the BBC Telex in the film The Coronation Stone, Covenant Recordings, and Ian R. Hamilton QC in three of his books, No Stone Unturned, pages 36, 44, A Touch of Reason, page 50, and The Taking of the Stone of Destiny, pages 27, 35, was removed from Westminster Abbey at four o'clock hours on the 25th of December in 1950, by his group of four Scottish nationalist students, which included and was led by Ian Robertson Hamilton himself. The other three were Alan Stewart, Gavin Vernon and Kay Matheson, as stated. The real coronation stone, national treasure number. One, was taken to Scotland where, in Glasgow, it was handed over to Bertie Gray to repair it, and was later hidden by industrialist and philanthropist John Rollo in his factory, under his office floor, according to Ian R. Hamilton's books, No Stone Unturned, and The Taking of the Stone of Destiny, and the factory manager, when I visited him. A fake stone copy had previously been made in 1920 by stonemason, Bertie Gray, for a prior plan to repatriate the coronation stone, and it was made of Scottish sandstone from a quarry near Scon in Perthshire, weighing 300 weight. 336 pounds. The conspirators had used it to practice with before going to London to Westminster Abbey to remove the real coronation stone from the Abbey. It was that fake stone copy which was placed on the high altar stone at Arbroath Abbey, at midday on the 11th of April of 1951, wrapped in a Scottish salt of Saint. Andrew's flag dark blue with white diagonal cross on it and found by the authorities, then transported to England, where it was used for the Queen's coronation, according to Bertie Gray's children in a Daily Record newspaper article. The stone upon which Elizabeth Alexandra Mary Battenberg was crowned weighs exactly 300 weight, 336 pounds, as attested to by Historic Scotland in their official booklet titled The Stone of Destiny, Symbol of Nationhood obtainable from Edinburgh Castle, published by Historic Scotland, who have had the stone that she was crowned on in their care, in Edinburgh Castle, since it was returned to Scotland by John Major's Conservative government in 1996. As previously stated, the genuine coronation stone weighs more than 400 weight, 458 pounds, but the one that Elizabeth A. M. Battenberg was crowned on, that has been on display in Edinburgh Castle since 1996, weighs 336 pounds, not 458 pounds and thus cannot be the genuine coronation stone, for that and other reasons, therefore, never having been lawfully crowned, she has no authority to put the defendant on trial and the judge has no authority to try him, because the judge's authority comes from her. Further and without prejudice to the above, some of Elizabeth Alexandra Mary Battenberg's other crimes. Sample crimes. Points of law. 1. Mrs. Elizabeth Alexandra Mary Battenberg slash Mountbatten. UN lawfully residing in Buckingham Palace, London, also known by the criminal aliases Windsor and QE2, was knowingly and willfully, with malice aforethought, 
fraudulently crowned on a fake coronation stone Lea Phil Stone of Destiny Bethel Jacob's Pillar on June 2 in 1953, and has been fraudulently masquerading as the rightful British sovereign slash crown for the last 58 years, which the defendant can prove beyond doubt, and is a major part of why the fraudulent British so-called crown is attacking the defendant with this false, malicious, frivolous, ridiculous and politically motivated charge. It is Mrs. Elizabeth M. Battenberg who should be arrested and charged for her innumerable acts of high treason against God and Christ, whose church she falsely claims to head and in defiance of whom she had herself fraudulently crowned and whom she has continued to rule in defiance of, and in opposition to, ever since, not the defendant, too, allowing people to legislate in defiance of God's law, Deuteronomy 4, 2, 1232, that she swore and affirmed, in writing, to maintain to the utmost of her power, Exhibit 1, and, in many cases, actually reversing what the law states into being the very opposite of it. She has fraudulently imprisoned and punished people for enforcing the law themselves as God command thus you unlawfully prevented or deterred others from doing so. She mans them to do, has given royal assent to 3,401 Acts of Parliament as of the 24th of March 2011 and thus broken the law against legislating 3,401 times. The very first time she gave royal assent to any Act of Parliament or any other piece of legislation or allowed Parliament or anyone to legislate she broke her coronation oath and was thus no longer the monarch, with immediate effect, even if she had been lawfully crowned in the first place, which she most definitely was not. Deuteronomy 4. To ye shall not add to the word which I command you, neither shall ye diminish short from it, that ye may keep the commandments of the Lord your God which I command you. 11. 1. Therefore thou shalt love the Lord thy God, and keep his charge, and his statutes, and his judgments, and his commandments, always. 12. 8. Ye shall not do after all the things that we do here this day, every man whatsoever is right in his own eyes. 12. 32. What thing soever I command you, observe to do it, thou shalt not add thereto, nor diminish from it. Deuteronomy 23.19 Thou shalt not lend upon usury slash interest to thy brother, usury of money, usury of victuals, usury of anything that is lent upon usury, ignoring the year of release, where all debts are forgiven slash cancelled every seven years, and the year of jubilee every fifty years where all property is redistributed back to its owner and the wealth shared out, so that there will be no poor amongst the people. A bill must have royal assent before it can become an act of parliament law. 3. Allowing the forming of political parties and demon crazy democracy to divide, weaken, bunker and ruin the people. Deuteronomy 5.32, 17.20, Matthew 12:25, Deuteronomy 5:32. Ye shall observe to do therefore as the Lord your God hath commanded you. Ye shall not turn aside to the right hand or to the left. Matthew 12:25. And Jesus knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. 4. Removal of the death penalty that is prescribed as the deterrent for capital crimes in the law that she swore to maintain to the utmost of her power. For example, Sodomy, Deuteronomy 23.17, Leviticus 20.13, Pedophilia, Rape, Murder, Adultery, etc. thus encouraging these crimes, 
that are now legion. Revelation slash Apocalypse 18, 4 And I heard another voice from heaven, saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye take not part in her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues punishment. Deuteronomy 18, 9 When thou art come into the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee, thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations of those nations. 18.10 There shall not be found among you any one that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, or that useth divination, or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch. 18.11 Or a charmer, or a consulter with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer medium. 18.13 Thou shalt be perfect with the Lord thy God. Matthew 5.48 Be therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect, the other and major part of witchcraft slash sorcery, that she has also allowed, and probably actually invested in, is the chemical and pharmaceutical industry that is slowly poisoning the nation through chemical fertilizers, pesticides, chemtrails, vaccines, etc. and other pharmaceutical products slash medicines slash poisons which is brews and potions in order to maximize their profits because they do not make any money from healthy people. Note well that it states in Revelation slash Apocalypse 21, 8 All liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone. And the word parliament means speaking lies from the French words parler which means to speak, and menteur which means to tell lies. Also the word politics, poly meaning many. Ticks are blood-sucking parasites. Thus politics means many blood-sucking parasites. All of the law references quoted are copied from the Sovereign's Bible Exhibit 2 upon which Elizabeth Alexandra Mary Battenberg's coronation oath Exhibit 1 was sworn all emphasis mine containing God's law that she swore to maintain to the utmost of her power. It is a special large print and specially bound edition of the King James Authorized Version 1611 of the Holy Bible that she placed her right hand upon, swore the coronation oath upon and then cased, before she signed the coronation oath. Exhibit 1. She has amongst other things accumulated a large amount of personal wealth and done many other things that are expressly forbidden some of which are listed above, and so she has breached her contract with God and the British Israel people. Therefore, even if, which is not admitted, the Queen was genuinely crowned, the breach of contract disqualifies her from sitting and renders null and void proceedings instituted in her name. It is therefore of the utmost importance that Elizabeth Alexandra Mary Battenberg and the Sovereign's Bible that is kept in Lambeth Palace, be present in court on May the 9th for my challenge to her jurisdiction and sovereignty to be heard, and for me to face my false accuser, examine her and have her arrested. For more info go to jatruth.net that's jeh.net peace to all.